What is up guys? I'm Malgomaniac here and welcome back to another What is up guys? I'm Malgomaniac here and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. Um I took a lot more time trying to set up OBS than I probably should have. It's just being ridiculous. You know, difficulties between communicating with OBS and the video broadcast and my Apogee mic. It's just been a big uh, annoying headache. And my voice isn't completely back yet, although it should be since, you know, it's been like three weeks now. I think I've just been dehydrated. So I, I've been trying to cut out on the uh, energy drinks, attempt to drink more water. So yeah, a little time has passed. Half of my base is now tech. And because I managed to get a couple of element slags from one of my players on here, Freya, I traded her a shiny Beelzebufu, however you say it, you know, the frog. And I already had a lot of sap, so I've also been <laughs> working on reviving eerie dinos as well. And as of recording this episode, there is now a new creature added to the Ark. A creature of my own design that you might recognize from Ark Reclamation for Ark Survival Evolved. And that's the Lux Pred. So I haven't seen, <laughs> I haven't tried seeing if they spawn wild, or how they spawn wild, but... They share spawns with the Megalodon and the Ichthyornis. I did that on purpose. Because <laughs> I am a little imp. We have a lot of different things we're going to do today. This is basically going to be my hunting episode. So we're going to hunt for Lux Pred. We're going to hunt for artifacts. And we might hunt for drops. But you know, a common complaint with uh, ASA currently is that jellyfish are not common at all. In fact, the only places I've seen jellyfish are in underwater caves. So, adding Lux Pred. Is that an eerie megalodon? Yeah. yeah so, adding Lux Pred uh, is going to give a... Hopefully, it'll give... Ah! Oxygen's a thing. <laughs> hopefully, it'll give uh, these megalodons a break from spawning a little bit. Hey, dodos. Yeet. And where are you going? <laughs> hey, get out of my way. Well, yeet everybody out of my way. Let me go ahead and finish y'all off. Bye bye. Ho oh. ho. And that is what you call a double kill. All right, so we're looking for a shiny, eerie calico. Now, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Maybe he's on top of this iceberg. Just let me uh, charge up my gigabyte real quick. And then pop. Bob's your uncle. And then I'll just revive your implant whenever I get back to base. <laughs> okay, I've got eight. Oh, yeah. I'm saving up for a tech generator. <laughs> and I think I'm like 30 away. So I'm needing to get more black pearls to get a tech generator. So that's another reason why I'm hunting down shiny dinos. Let's see if we can find the shiny Equus. Hello. Oh, that's cool. They're both protecting their babies. <laughs> Let me get them both. <laughs> I get both of their babies. I don't even know what level you are. 125. Okay. 95. Not too bad. Ooh. Right on time. Yeah, it seems to be a little laggy at the moment. I don't know what's with all the pteranodons right now. Oh, crap. Uh, oh. Who's that? They must be also looking for the uh, ever after. Hello. Hello. Are you after taming the um of your after? Well, I was gonna munch it up and put it in my belly. I was after the same thing. Yeah, I, ha I hadn't seen it though. I don't think it's dead yet. Hello, Mr. Overlapter. Where do you be? Gigi. <laughs> You beat me to it. By the way, I found a second unicorn. So now we have Bob, and we have Bob the second. 
Hello. Both of them <laughs> were found on Herbivore Island. And as I recall, I mean, obviously these are both male, but as I recall, unicorns can breed. So if I get lucky enough to find a female unicorn, uh, that'd be pretty cool. And before you say anything, don't ask me why I named this Bracky. It's me, Margaret. But, uh, I mean, it's weird because I was taming it. And then whenever it first tamed, that's the first thing that came to my head for some reason. I want to figure out a few different strategies to go into these caves with. So I think for like some of the water caves, I'm definitely going in with a lot of Dinosuchus. Now as far as these smaller caves go, I want to try some Eerie Trudons. Because I think that could be fun to play around with. Oh, by the way, I completely skipped over this. On top of having the Reclamation Slags and Lump Spread now in the game, I now have all Eerie Dinos of Tameable Dinos currently in ASA. I have eerie variants for those, so that is pretty epic. As far as I know, they're all working correctly. I'm waiting for input to come in, so. You know what? I said I was going to do this one first last episode, so let's do this one first now. Am I about to get, oh, uh, into the cave we go. <laughs> into the cave we go. Lag and all. I feel like I'm being rubber banded around here. Okay, so this is our first cave attempt. I've not even done cave attempts off screen. Oh, no, I, that's correction. I helped with a cave attempt, but I did not get the artifact. Uh, it's for one of the underwater caves. Now this is the first one I've tried to do by myself. So, this should be fun. So we got Luna. Oh crap, don't come out yet. I am not ready. Actually, hold up. I really am not ready. I need my uh, antidotes just in case. I don't know why the bats don't just fly, but okay. <laughs> y'all crawl on the ground if you want to, I guess. Are y'all really not flying? This makes me nervous. Ah! Okay. Note to self. Dismount before you hit the ground. <laughs> Dumb nut. Alright. The artifact's right down there. Alright, let's clear down the clear out the bottom of this cave. We can get some eerie spiders too. Yay! Maybe not contract uh, mega rabies. That'd be awesome. Okay, nice. I might have to double check. But I don't know if I have it set where all Eerie Dinos can hold artifacts anymore. I have to double check on that. All right, artifact one is down. Okay, so the Northeast Cave is the artifact of the Devourer. Yeah, I know it's a little crowded in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm wanting to expand my base a little bit, but I haven't quite had the time. So I've just got crops sitting on top of each other. But yeah, let's go ahead and put the uh, artifact of the devourer on here. Epic. Oh, okay. We are in for a, uh, a tough fight. <laughs> Uh, the onyx half health. That's not good. But let's do it. I'm going to regret it. Let's do it, people. So yeah, 
y'all come back this way. Come back this way. that I get. I got three out of the four. Ah. Okay. Okay, let's see how we just do with the onyx for now. Probably not very well, but we will see. <laughs> if I didn't lose them before, I definitely would have lost them down there. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I almost over, over jumped. I recall this being the way to go. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there's the artifact. All right. Uh. And yeet. Oh crap! No. Ah! No! 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 Well, I missed. That is a bogus way to die. Don't you dare tell me I lost everything. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. All right, Luna. We're now officially on rescue because we got to go back in since uh, my otter had a tracker on it. And I don't know why it no longer has a tracker on it. But I know for a fact it did, and now for some reason it doesn't. Now, I'm going to be ticked if the otter died because I meshed and it was on my shoulder. <sighs> oh well, it happens. It's a stupid thing that happens, but it happens. And I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to spawn another one back in. It is what it is. Even though I love that eerie otter, there are other people who have also lost stuff because the game thought they were meshing. So hopefully, Wildcard fixes it. That's all I can say. And thankfully, I still have a breeding pair for both of these. So yeah, I can always just breed and get me some more of those. Unfortunately, I cannot for the otters. So yeah, those are dead. So I'm just going to have to find me some more. We have two artifacts. Yay! It just cost me my prized eerie otter. <laughs> it was a shiny too, by the way. I didn't mention that part. Yep, well. Uh... And the fabled purple rain crashes at it again. How long have I even been recording for? About an hour and 12. I mean, to be fair, this is probably going to be a short episode anyways. <laughs> Not just because I crashed. But, uh, I mean, we got two artifacts. We killed a few shiny dinos. I'd say it's been a pretty successful, pretty successful run so far. Even though we did accidentally mesh and get our shiny, eerie otter killed. That was on our shoulder, but, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I guess that's where I'm going to Hello. <laughs> I guess that's where I'm going to end the episode for now. So uh, that's it, guys. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you on the flip side. Say goodbye, me's. Bye.